Cumulus Media Station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. Oh, yeah. We are officially in the window for the secret sound. KRB's secret sound. We premiered it yesterday, and nobody has guessed what the sound is, guys. Are you serious? Nobody yes. guessed it yesterday. That means the pot is up to $624. Because every guess, we had $104 to the pot. So in case you missed the sound, this is not the time to call to try and win money, but this is the sound, so you just know what it sounds like. Here's what it is. It's not a garage door opening. It's not a clothes washer filling up with water and clothes. It's not a dishwasher. It's not a treadmill. These are some of the guesses that we got yesterday, and you could think about that and see, okay, when you hear us say, time to be caller 104, when it's your moment to shine, hopefully you get it. And there's a way where you can actually know the exact time, become a KRBE insider. They'll give you all the times well, that we're going to offer. Well, send you an email with the, the exact times. Go to krb.com. It's right Maybe there. give you a hint, too. Maybe give you a hint. KRBE Secret Sound, five times a day between 7 to 7. You could win $624 so far. That's the total. 104.1 KRBE. Did you know the three-digit extension is a <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Now time for Rule and Ryan's prank call. I feel the wrath of Special K aimed at me. I know that I took on the name Fence Daddy. If somebody's new to the show, the reason they called me Fence Daddy was because when I moved into my house, there were people, one neighbor had a chain link fence, another one had a dilapidated fence, and I just decided to build a fence all the way around inside the perimeter because I did not want my sweet little dog, Mango, Because most escaping. people talk to the neighbors and say, hey, can we split this because it's expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Not Fence Daddy over here. He's like, bam, bam, bam. Well, Here's they had a chain money. link fence already. They didn't want to build a new fence, so like, I built a fence all the way around. Fence my daddy dog. baller. Now well, became fence then daddy. we found out that he was swimming with rats in his pool. Oh, a rat yeah. was in my pool. Yeah. So then we we I was like, wow, he's kind of the rat whisperer. What is he, rat? Oh, f- f- rat fence daddy, fence rat daddy, something like that. <laughs> oh, I feel like there's something. Rat we got daddy. something here. Uh, so that will find its way into today's telemarketer turnaround. Oh. We don't do these a lot on Friday, but th- this year we're just going to throw it all out there. Any day, any prank, any time, you never know how it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Is there a specific phrase you kept repeating over and over? We can guess how many times you said it? No, we just went off the cuff okay. on this one. Right. All right, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they're trying to sell me, I think, on switching over to a certain provider for both uh, cable and cell phone here. So I'm telling him that, yes, I do have a TV. Yes, I have TV. Okay. <laughs> so are you having any problem in our services now? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Like what kind of problem are you facing now? I can't get a, a specific channel I'm trying to get up on here. I- it's the cat channel. <laughs> cat channel. Uh, okay. Well, let me check that, ma'am. If I can uh, activate the cat channel in your account, so definitely I'm gonna do that. Just a second, please. Thank you. You know I love kitty cats. I have seventeen of them. They live upstairs mm-hmm. in the guest room. I feed them meow mix. Have you ever heard of meow mix? Oh, they love the crap out of that. <laughs> oh, I also love cats, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so kind to me. What can I do for you? Right now, ma'am, I believe uh, we're talking on your cell phone number and again. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And may I have your last name, please? Okay. Try Chase. Can you do Chase? Can you do Ryan Chase? Okay. Let me check that, ma'am. Just a second. Okay. Thank you so much. You know, he's been taking care of my internet bills and my, my TV bills for quite some time. We call him our fence rat daddy. Mm-hmm. And he pays all my bills. And anyone who hits him up on Instagram, you know, with listeners and such, and uh-huh. he takes all these women out and wines and dines them, has his way with them, and then he pays their mm-hmm. cable bills. He will pay you whatever you want today so that I can get my cat channel. Oh, dear. <laughs> No problem, ma'am. Um, first of all, I just need to pull up your account details. Could you just turn the line with me? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm cooking a fish loaf right now. I, I don't think I can wait around. Can we just take care of this right now? Ma'am. Baby, just hit the button. Give me the cat channel. It's simple as that, right? 
Hit the button. Okay, so I just wanna, ma'am, uh, I just wanna make sure one more thing. Actually, uh, right now we are talking on your cell phone, right? So this cell phone is also through. I believe my cell phone is through Ryan Chase as well. Like I said, he's paid for everything I own and and operate. He's a he, we call him the okay. Sam Show. You know, he's been he's been paying for all my wheeling and dealing okay. for quite some time. One time, you okay. know, one time okay. he took all of us out at one time, and he had our uh-huh. play with us at the Sipping Burp uh, across the Hibachi Grill. <laughs> okay, so uh, ma'am, can you please verify me his cell phone number so I can call him uh, by my side? Yes, but before you call him, don't tell him that I, I gave up his game. You know, he's because he's running game on all kinds of women up and around Houston. I just happened to know about it. He made me swear that if he paid for my cat channel, then he would get that cat. You know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I got you. it. Yeah. I got yeah. it. And his name and is uh, me, Ryan Kate. Ryan Chase. Ryan Chase. Man. And he's oh he he loves a pretty kitty if you know what I mean. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Okay. But when you talk to him, tell him to pick me up some pork rinds on this way home. I'm gonna put it on top of this kitty. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Sir, uh, thank you so much for helping up with uh, with the cat channel. I love you very much. I hope you have a blessed, merry you too. Valentine's Day. You too, mom. You too, mom. Okay. You too. I love you. Take care. I love you. Yes, okay, I, I love, love you too, Mal. Oh, uh, thank you. Don't, don't tell Ryan Chase though. He's gonna. Sh- oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's trying to get me in trouble. He knows I am in a very wow. committed relationship with somebody I care about and love. Uh, I know. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they may wow. or may not listen. In the cat daddy. Oh, the cat channel on a Friday too. Come on, Friday. Oh. just hit that button. Give me that cat channel. <laughs> Put I'm those pork rinds on there. Give that kitty. Uh, somebody oh said tips to recognize it's a scammer. The noise in the background. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah they're in a cubicle farm. And that farm. You know, smart floor. TVs. They can get get you through that way. Mm. They, there's so many ways they can get you now. They're watching you. Today. Just don't answer your phone. No, but they prey upon the elderly always. That's why I, they stay on the phone with me. I yeah, I know what you do that. If you do, it, right? me. if you yeah. just touch your normal voice, he probably would have hung up. Oh yeah. You. They hang up on Bryce every single time. I can't. Well, because you sound like him. a stoner, and well, they're like, "I'm not going to no, get a sale from this guy." because he young, and they think they're not going to get him. But a young, I mean, a, an older, cute little innocent grandma. Oh, when voice, they hear that, like, oh yeah, cha ching, let's go. It's Granny. like the old cartoon where they see the dollar signs in their eyes. Cha ching. Well, exactly. I just recorded one uh, yesterday where uh, I alleged that Eric has me kept in a bunker. <laughs> A burn bunker? A, a bunker, yeah, yeah. Like uh, um, an end of times. So those preppers have? Yes. Oh, a doomsday. Doomsday bunker. Oh, wow. Before I went to work yesterday, you know, you were just weird thoughts. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I was like getting my protein bar out on the thing, and I went past my bourbons, and I was like, man, if it's the end of the world, like how many bourbons would I take with me? I started thinking, not, that's not where you your go. Children and your I started thinking like it's a prepper. How many bourbon bottles? I was trying to think if I had to be a prepper. Okay, would I have like 100 bottles down there? Would I have like 300? What would I do? I'm like, why am I thinking this? I don't know why you're thinking that way because again. the first thing that would pop into my head, uh, what's that show we watched with Pedro Pascal? Uh, the, Last the Last of Us? The Last of Us. Between watching that and The Walking Dead, the first thing I would do would be go to the ammo store, get as many weapons as I think possible. That's what it was because I live in the high rise now, and when I was out the window, I could see all the buildings. I'm thinking uh-huh. like Will Smith. I'm like, man, if I was the last person, it'd be kind of fun to go through people's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you would entertain yourself? Random well, thoughts. the whole world is dead. Let's see what they're all up to. Yeah, I'll just go through their stuff. It'd be kind of fun. Walk into that house. Walk into that house. Yeah, walk into that have. house. Like, man, these people live like pigs. Or, wow, this house is nice. I'm like, oh, I guess I should go to work now. It's really late. clean. <laughs> I ain't going in there if there's zombies waiting for me. Me neither. Oh, no you way. are terrified for I Am Legend. Legend still yeah. traumatized me. I cannot watch any movies like that because the mm. I Am Legend zombie devils... I I'm whoo, whoo, I get the shiver because they move fast. Yeah. I get the shiver still. Most <laughs> of these shows, they're kind of like uh, they're slow moving and everything. The only movie they did World War Z. Remember those zombies could run. That's on tonight on uh, did Paramount. The, did the zombies of World War Z have drinks at the Sip and Burp? <laughs> yeah, what is the Sip and okay, Burp? Real quick, the, the story behind Sip and Burp is when I was uh, training in the Merchant Marines, we would always go to the Stop and Go for beer. Uh, some of them were not called Stop and Go. They were called like s- Stop and Sale. So mm-hmm. we would just call them all Sip and Burp. Sip and Burp? Sip and Burp. We'd just go by the Sip and Burp and pick us up some beer. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want pork oh, rinds sprinkled so over fun. you? <laughs> Y'all go to krve.com slash prank call requests and Special K will get with you to prank somebody in your life. Oh, we're going to try something different here. 
What's Kevin had an difference? idea, because you know how we do romance or no chance. We do the games where people tell stories and we try and guess how it ends. Yes. So, Kevin, what is your idea? And okay. I think it's fun. I want to hear about a terrible job interview that you had. We will guess if you actually got the job or they passed on you. Based on how your interview went. Maybe so, an interview you were you passed out. Or you, you had burped. something in your teeth. Maybe you farted. <laughs> Maybe you slept with his... You, know, you find out you have his common sister. ex or something, yeah. or his, cur- his or her current mate is your ex-mate. So you're going to tell us the story of the bad interview, but don't tell us whether you got the job or not. We'll so guess. we have to guess whether or not they landed that hired job. Hired or, what did we say we're going to call hey, Hired or hit the road? Hired or undesired. Hired, hired or undesired. Hired or undesired. That's okay. To make, ca- to make it right. you got to have the rhyme. <laughs> hired <laughs> or undesired. No, we got okay. time. Seven one three three nine zero krbe You tell us your um, crazy interview story, and we'll guess if you got that job or not. Hired? Or undesired. Exit, please. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you next on the Rule and Ryan Show. Rule and Ryan Show. That's for you, Annalise. She's turning 10 today. They listen every day on their Happy way to school. Birthday. Happy birthday, Double Annalise. digits. Birthday, You're, in the double digits. You're in the double digits. You're in the double digits. Yay! Yes, Taylor Swift is it over I feel like now. I should have said that more feminine for her. Oh, say it. Go ahead. Happy birthday, Annalise. <laughs> That's creepy. I like the other way. Yeah. Okay. Somehow the other one's not creepy. <laughs> as creepy. Oh my gosh, what was that movie? Uh, uh, House Bunny, I think that was. With that's Anna where Ferris, I got it from, yes. Where she had that crazy, like, crazy voice. Yeah. I think that's what She'd you got. She'd be like, Rebecca. Like, oh my God. So yeah. she could remember? I have to do that so I remember names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what we want to do for you right now. We want to have some fun with your bad or... Not so bad interview story. Everybody has had a job of some sort. And to get that job, you have to meet somebody who's going to hire you. So sometimes it just goes terribly. You're thinking, man, how did I get hired here? This is the craziest story. Or here's why I didn't get hired. So we want to hear your story of a weird or not so traditional interview. And don't give away the details so much so that we can guess the answer. We want to guess, did you get hired? Or did they tell you you're undesired? Show up in tuxedos (laughs) with your, your stepbrother? Uh, it's <laughs> such a great movie. Why are you both wearing tuxedos? Gosh, <laughs> Catalina Boat Show or whatever it was called. The mixer. Wine mixer. Wine, wine mixer. mixer. Okay, wine mixer. so Jessica is starting this off right. at 713-390-KRBE. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Jessica. So okay. share with us this job interview, okay? Okay, so I go in for this job interview, and at the time I was 27 weeks pregnant. Okay. Um, I've been looking for a job for a while. When I go in, I'm quite uncomfortable. I'm having a lot of pain. I'm thinking I'm having Braxton Higgs. So the whole time I'm in my chair, I'm shifting back and forth, and I tell the guy, I'm like, hey, I need to stand up. Is that okay? He's like, yeah, that's fine. And the whole time he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And I'm uncomfortable the whole time, and I'm just shifting around and going from sitting to standing. The whole entire time. Yeah, wow. He's like, man, is this girl on drugs? What's wrong with this lady? But, I mean, you were visibly <laughs> pregnant. Visibly he knew pregnant. you were pregnant, well, that's right? Twenty seven weeks. Were you showing? were you showing enough? Yeah. I was showing. I wasn't like ginormous, but I was showing enough that you could tell I was pregnant. Okay. 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 And mm. so you're standing up, sitting down, shifting a lot in the interview, <laughs> super uncomfortable. But now focused. Um, is there anything else yeah. you need to know before we guess? No. Was That's the shifting, d- is there like an end story to that? Like, did you find out why you were so uncomfortable or just because normal? Yes. Like, why were you uncomfortable? I was actually in labor and I gave birth that day. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Right, but not up. until after you left the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Holy yeah, cow. Yeah, it was like later, later in the day. Right. Okay, punch so down. what do we think about not Jessica? Like the water broke during the interview. 27 weeks. Okay, That's I, really early. Yeah. I think that the guy would be afraid to not hire someone who's pregnant because of, you know, hi- hire EOE. But then if he hires her, then she's not going to work for three months. Right, but well, you she's still a can't. Woman, yeah. yeah, you still can't. That's why he discriminate. Can't in the meantime, he can, he can have a temp fill it's in. It's more, yeah. But it shows. Some people are six weeks. But it shows. Look at she went there, did the interview in labor, and, and then had a baby labor. that day. Oh, that's that's pretty impressive. I'm God. saying hired. That's the kind of person hired, you want on your team, hired. right? I would like to say hired, but then she had to decline because she's like, "Well, I just had my baby, so uh, I'll just check back with you guys in like." Eight months. But this is all about whether or not she was offered the job. I say hired. Right, 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 right. Because it shows determination that she's... Everyone's hired? No, I'm saying not hired. Okay. 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 So I'll go... Well, four hired, one not hired. Jessica, what happened? Did you get hired? 
I did not. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you oh. saved his point. Uh, what did they say? Or did you? Did they end up finding out you had the baby later that day? That guy, the I don't interviewer? Think so. No, okay. No, I don't think so. Oh, and, you just and, never got a call back from them. Yeah, I didn't. No. Ghosted. Oh, okay. Did you ask like what? Uh, what, what was the job it? for? Yeah, what kind of job was it? What was the field? Um, Stripper. So I had finished. So I finished school for medical assistant about three months earlier. Mm-hmm. So it was an interview at a doctor's office for okay. a medical assistant. Got it. So. Oh, right. Okay, mm-hmm. and everything yeah. good. With, how old is your child now? <laughs> Uh, she's been a, she's 14. Uh, she did have a lot of complications, and it actually I didn't work for three years after that. But she's great now. She's 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 doing good. So yeah. All right. But they didn't okay. send you an email like that day or or a week later saying t- before no, years ago. No, I got goes. nothing back. Which honestly, after I was it was really uncomfortable. I think for both of us just because mm. of how much I was shifting around and just. I, I, I didn't know I was in labor because of how, you know, early I was. So but, neither of you were really uh, feeling it during the interview. All right. Well, Sam, you okay. got a point. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Jessica, thank you so much for calling the show. That's really... <laughs> oh, I gave birth later that day. I had no idea I was in labor during the interview. Wow. That's really something else. Okay, Matt is up next at 713-390-KRBE. We're asking you about a weird or unconventional interview process and find out if you got the job or not. Hired or undesired. Hi, Matt. Good morning. Tell us your story. Hey, good morning. Hey, morning. Matt. So take, 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 yeah, we can <laughs> hear you. It's actually windy. Are you able to take us off Bluetooth? So um, I got an interview at a hotel, and uh, the lady was probably in her 50s. I was in college, and I had the interview. And then when I was walking out, um, she told me that I had a nice butt. Oh, oh nice that's highly inappropriate. Highly Ooh, inappropriate. Wow. Yeah, and then guys, what way did she say it to you? She's did walking. You, did you find you her attractive? Tell she's watch, hold on. You she's watching you walk khakis. out. <laughs> and then how does she say it to you? Oh, by the way, nine. Yeah. Like, how does she say it to you? Yeah. yeah, so I, like, walked out of her office, and I was walking out in front of her. Uh-huh. And she said, she just, she said, wow, you have a nice, you know, butt. Um, and I was, I, I was kind of caught off guard. I was in college, you know, and she was a creepy old lady. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> a creepy old lady. That's true. You're like, okay. I don't know how to respond um, to this. Okay, right, we can put him down. This question so, is, did he want the job no. or did he <laughs> not? About to be an yeah, yeah. Right. Did he get hired or not? Do we think Matt got hired? I'm going to just go old school and say, yeah, he got hired because she wanted to harass yeah. him. <laughs> right. So he but did he think? want the job yeah, after that? Like, did that leave but a the, bad taste? The real question is, did he yeah, get hired? True. I'm going to say yes. he offered the job? I, we have two yeses so far. What do you guys think, guys? I think she wanted some fries with that shake, so he's hired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely wants to he hire him. He got the job offer, but he didn't Ryan, do you it. think hired? hired? Hired. Okay, we all think you got hired, Matt. What happened? I, I did I did get hired, and she actually told one of the other employees the reason she hired me was because of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and how long did you stay at that job? <laughs> I, I actually stayed at that job for almost 10 years, and I ended up taking her position. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, my God. Was she, like, creepy the whole time you worked there, or was it, like, that one-off time? Is she always sitting on you? It's like a sitcom? Or the was it, like, lady? the joke that, oh, Matt, here, come, here she comes yeah, in the corner? I, I, absolutely, yeah. That was the joke for a long time, and, yes, it was creepy the whole time. That's crazy. And do y'all still hire on the basis of butt? Yeah. <laughs> butt? <laughs> I don't work there no more, so I don't know what they're doing. Uh-huh. But she saw something in you. You worked there 10 years, so it was a good hire what for her. What line of work was this? Don't hotel. tell us he where. Said, hotel. 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 Yeah, hotel. We don't know the hotel. All right. No, thanks no, no, for no. calling, oh, Matt. Man. 10 years of uh, sexual harassment Matt went through before he replaced his harasser. <laughs> it's how different wow. with guys are. Guys like, hey, someone actually okay. picked some. No, but he, he said she was creepy. He didn't like it either. I was actually really surprised he, him saying it was creepy. Well, he said he was Maybe early out of college and she was yeah, in his, her fifties. Yeah. If she was attractive to him, it would have been a little bit. It doesn't he, make he, it okay, he, guys. It no, doesn't I make know, it okay. But I'm just was... telling you the way guys think. Okay, he's I mean, thirty years old. She's twenty and he's fifty. So I've yeah, had nurses different. compliment no, no, he my husband. He was twenty and she was fifty at work. He was twenty and she was fifty. So I understand. I'm just saying, like, he sees a fifty year old. That might as well be a hundred year old. Yeah, like, don't look at him. He's not interested. Okay, bag your hired or undesired. Sam's got two points. The rest of us are killing on this game. Thanks. Oh. Okay, here's Anisha <laughs> to tell us a story of a weird or just off interview process. And we're going to guess if she got the job. Hi, Anisha. Good morning. Hi, I'm on the radio. Oh, my God. I listen to y'all every morning. Yeah. I love y'all. Yeah. Oh, my God. I feel famous. Oh, you were famous. Good morning, Houston. Oh. I'm 
broadcasting live from Baytown, Texas. Baytown. Baytown. Yeah. 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 Okay, so my friend was, this was back in my younger days, my friend was applying for jobs for us, and she applied to UPS. Okay. Oh, was I not supposed to say that? Okay, so, and she told us, you know, just just show up, and she told me the interview day, whatever. So I show up, I'm like dressed to the T, I got my slacks, my heels, my makeup on, my hair done, and it was a group of us. Everybody else dressed in boots and slacks. Okay. It was for a loan job a on the truck. A, a loading, 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 loading job. Loading. Yes, so, yeah. so you yeah, came dressed to the I'm... nines in your heels and your business suit. <laughs> you didn't look like you're She didn't tell me how to dress. She didn't tell uh, me what I was supposed to put on. Hey, so I just thought good. it was an interview. So I right. dressed right. to impress. There's sure. nothing wrong with that. So you were super right. dressed to the nines and you were interviewing for a loading dock job. Is that all we need to right. know? Or did something else happen? No, that's it. That was embarrassing okay. enough. It okay. is embarrassing. Oh, Everyone else. embarrassed that you were so dressed to the nines. Everybody else was kind of. They like, see you dressed up, but for like that in job. The instructions they said to dress like you're loading to come dressed like you're ready to work. Oh, oh. and you would not be loading boxes yeah. and heels. Oh, okay, I would, I would okay. No. I wouldn't hire you then either. No, because you didn't, you didn't follow directions. Oh, let's well, see. what, what if, if she did together? get hired, but not for that job? Mm. Oh yeah, looking, I can see that. They're looking for loading. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, they want her front hired. of the house. She looks. We're cute. saying hired. Is she part of that company? And the person hiring is probably that's his job. He's like in charge of the load loading dock. Yeah, but he could have said, "Well, everything looks good here, but I just want to let you know you can't be wearing that." Maybe he was a creeper and he was like, "Whoa, she's really hot. I'm going to hire her." Or nice he just butt. was like, "Listen, yeah. I'm all business. You can't be wearing heels." So I say he didn't hire. You look good I'm for really the job, torn. but this is the job attire. You're right. You gotta wear boots. Or like, hey, you're hired, but don't wear this again for the yeah. tomorrow or something. I understand the interview. You look very. Yeah, you know, professional. But it does say to me, if I'm the person doing the hiring, she didn't even read the directions. Yeah. yeah. And well, everyone yeah. else did? Like, there's 10 other people, oh. and they're dressed to, yeah. to load or, vehicles? Or you would joke, you would th- not joke, you would think in your head, this person is, this person's not going to be able to actually give it Physically, their all. Physically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, yeah. They're, she's so dressed up, she's not... She can't yeah. load boxes. Right. So then she'll probably be like, ah, oh, I can't load these boxes. Right. If they're saying dress, Ryan says no. If they're saying dress to work, that means they want to hire them and start right, them let's right go there. I say, I say no. I say I'm no. going to go yes just because I want to yeah, go I'm yes. Yeah, I'm going hired. Me I say, say hired. not hired, asterisk. She got a different job with him. So for three <laughs> no's, two yeses. Anisha, did you get hired for that job since you were dressed for the nuts? Hell the no. They was oh. looking at me crazy as hell. Oh. And I went home and cussed my damn friend out. Oh. Oh. That's really unfortunate. Yay. That's really unfortunate you did not Hell get no. hired. Did you get a, uh, a better job? Or a different job? I'm in school. I'm uh, almost doing my nurse practitioner, so yeah. Oh, awesome. yes. Anisha, look at you on the Rule and Ryan show. Go Shout on. out to Baytown. Oh, my God, I'm famous. I'm famous. Houston, I love you. Oh, my God, you're so cute. <laughs> Listen, you can tell all your friends and family who maybe aren't hearing this moment right now to go to the podcast at krbe.com or download the app, and you can hear yourself as much as you want on the Rule and Ryan yes. show. I love y'all. Have a good day. Thank you. Love you too, Anisha. Big hugs to you. Happy Friday. Yay. Sam, Eric, Kevin, Ryan had two, uh, three points, uh, and I've already lost two points. Two points. I'm sorry. Two points. Yeah, two points out of the three. Only had one. Yeah, because I went with negative instead of positive. So, really, should go in the mystery box. That's no. Eric is going in the mystery box. Next up, the mystery box with Eric. Yay! Last week I won rapid fire, and the contestant that won the prize chose Eric to go into the mystery box. Not this week's mystery oh, the box. Fr- the freeze um, happened. Yeah, the freeze happens. We didn't do it Monday, Tuesday, so we saved it for Friday fun. Oh, What's yeah. in the box? Find out next on the Rule and Ryan Show. It's the Rule and Ryan Show. You know, <laughs> you the like secret that? sound, we are still in that window. Nobody guessed it yesterday, so the pot is up to $624. 7 to 7, five times a day in that window of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., it is now $624 in that pot because nobody guessed yesterday. We can let you hear what it sounds like. Here it is. Yeah. It is not a garage door opening. That was a guess. It is not a dishwasher. Mm-mm. It is not clothes in a washer filling up with water and nope. clothes. It is not a treadmill. It is not a printer. Those were the guesses yesterday. 
So good luck. 624 bucks happens. at stake the next time we do it. We tell you to call. Be caller 104. You can guess that sound. Secret sound. Okay, All here right, we go. Now it's time oh, to torture box. Eric. Okay, uh, Eric's way out of the room. Get out. And here on the Rule and Ryan Show, we've done the mystery box, I don't know, for 20 years. You've probably seen other things, like Jimmy Fallon took that over, but guess what? We asked where it started. Special K in his handiwork right there in his backyard with plywood and, and, and all this um, crafty stuff. All right, yes. <laughs> okay. Saws, he made that drills. box. So you built the Man. box. Now, he is he in that room? Yeah, he's in the silence okay, chamber. Okay, so he's in the silence chamber so he cannot last, hear. Last week, I won um, Rapid Fire Quiz. My contestant chose Eric to go in the mystery box. We usually do it like Monday or Tuesday, but because of the freeze, we pushed it to today. Because we've already had another Rapid Fire Quiz and a mod's going to be in the mystery box next week. Mm -hmm. But this mystery box is from last week's win, okay? So Eric is in the other room. He can't hear what it is. Here's what it is. And it stinks. You know, usually we have to hit spray Lysol. Y'all, we're going to have to hit that hard. All of my plants that I hate, I didn't cover them, and they all died in the freeze. And y'all, they didn't just die. They were like wet, nasty, slimy, stinky. I don't know what the hell kind of weirdo plant this was that I hate uh, so much. Yeah. Had big leaves, and they were all just blech. So I cut them up yesterday. I put them in a Ziploc, and they were like wet, and they stunk while I was blech. cutting them because they're all like gross and frozen, and, and then yeah. now they're all defrosted, frozen. <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to have that so stench on his hands. slimy, gross Plant, like frozen plants from the freeze Ugh. that have defrosted now and they stink. So I put them in a Ziploc. We, we squished it up real tight. We left it here overnight and now Ahmad has to put it in the... Is it already in the box? Yeah, it's in the box. It's How did box. you put it in the box? Let me see. Is it like on a tray or it's a on plate a plate. or something? It's okay. on a plate. I did not touch this at all. It's so gross. Does it smell as bad as it smelled it yesterday? It smells like outside. You know how uh. your kids come back in from outside? Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be worse that recess. I called yeah. the recess smell. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be like that gross all old dead flower smell. smell. Right now. We sprayed a lot okay, of that. Good. So hopefully that'll be good. Okay, so it's gross, slimy, dead plants. All right. You want to go me, get him? Go get him? Yep. Here we go. The mystery box. The mystery it's box. The mystery box. It's the not knowing. It particularly gets to Eric. The worst is when you see a guest. You're like, oh, who's that person? Oh, you know something's oh, alive God, in there. Oh, they brought something alive. Yeah. It's all going to be posted on our socials at krbe.com. He's got a mask on, so he yeah, does he not see. He has a mask on. Uh, here comes Eric for the mystery <laughs> box. All right, Eric. Make How you feeling, the Eric? Uh, Let me get the mic up to him. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Eric, over here oh, is the gosh, mic. This is the here Why don't I always shake this stupid bit? There you go. Uh, yeah. You're All the right. one All that right. wanted it this way. You wanted it this <laughs> way. <laughs> okay, okay, so Eric, right, the yes. box is in front of you. That blindfold I is on. I smell the uh, Lysol trick. You smell oh, the yeah. Lysol. Well played. Well played. Worked last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did. I hope. All right. Whenever uh, you're ready. As long as it doesn't bite. That's all I you care. You know what to do. You know what to do. And if you guys did put poop in this, <laughs> I will do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, oh. Oh, hands up in the mouth. Oh, okay. I, know, I know it's the worst. Right. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Get, you just got to yeah. be brave, Eric. If you've just, never just seen the box in. before, there's just one right. hole on each side. Hands are in. in. Hands are in. Down. So now you got to go down. Up. Uh, no, not up. I don't want to go down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go down. <laughs> oh, I know. It's Why don't we? Can, like, uh, I can't be like Ryan in this bit. What does oh. that mean? What does that mean? Oh, oh he's tough. Snake. He's not scared. Oh, it's a snake. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Stop. Uh -huh. Well, the Lysol smell is pretty strong. Oh, God, it's knocking uh -huh. me out. It's pretty strong. I keep saying I'm going to keep my voice uh, lower. Not higher. I'm freaking out. I don't want to do right. this. Just, just put your hands down, Eric. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why's it moving? Why's it moving? Uh -huh. Stop it. Who's doing that? <laughs> the mask. The mask Wait a minute. I don't feel anybody. He's reaching around it. to see if any of us are moving so the box. I want to be close to it. It's, it's oh. moving because your nerves. Oh. 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 What is it? What, what do you feel? Right? What do you feel? It feels like a, what do you feel? a plate. Just grab your A side. plate's not a good thing. Just grab whatever's yeah. on it. All right. What do we just put on plates? Uh, this is a... This it. is a turd. I know it's going to be a turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, it's cold. Why is this cold? <laughs> It's cold. You got my fingernail. What is in my fingernail? Ew. What is this? Oh, just got to reach down and grab. Right. Grab. Oh, what? Smash your hand right on top of it. Yeah. What the hell is this? Is it lettuce? He's grabbing. Yeah, yeah. He's I, got it in his fingers. Am now. I feeling lettuce? No. Lettuce. It, it feels it. like lettuce. We did not put oh, a salad God, in there. With a, a brain on it? No, what the hell is this? Lettuce with a brain. Keep going. It's not that. All right. It's um something shredded. Oh god! <laughs> smells. What does that smell? Yeah, what the hell is some, something? Something's so wafting into me. No, is this it's so bad. Smell your fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, can yeah, smell yeah. it now. What the hell is that? <laughs> All right. 
Why yeah, you can smell your fingers. Oh my god, it feels sticky in my maybe hand. You know. Pull your hands out of the box. Smell your fingers. Yeah, maybe you'll Ew, figure it out. You never want to do the hairs. Yeah, come say on, that. come on. Smell, smell your fingers. Smell your fingers. Oh, oh, oh. he's wrenching. Oh, I think he's gonna throw up. Oh, that's gross. Is it gross? Oh, oh, that smells so gross. What is that? What can you think it is? Like, what do you think it is? What smell? It's a weird like smell. That. I can't even explain what that smell is. It's between you the Lysol and the in. odor. Yeah, I get Lysol and. Oh, he smells his hand. What is that? Is like spoiled something? Is, is this like spoiled. Kevin's food? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any spoiled that yogurt crap he always eats. <laughs> what is this? What the hell is this? I have no idea. All right, take, take off the mask. Take off the take mask off the and mask. look at it and see if you can then <laughs> still see what it All right, is. Spin it around. What look inside the box. I have no idea. Look at it. Look at it. Can you tell what it is? What the hell is that? Right? What is that? It's oh, oh, oh. stink. It's stink. Oh, my God. He just oh. opened that the is the, the waft. My eyes are watering. It is frozen dead plants from the freeze from my yard. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> I, 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 I thought maybe it was a carrot or something. No, it's so gross. It's slimy leaves oh. from the defrost now because they all got frozen and slimed out. Stinky. Yeah. That yeah. is nasty. Isn't, Isn't it? it nasty? Like great idea, Rula. Great idea. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Easy, Eric. That wasn't bad. My eyes it's are watering. Really Look at That smell is bad. That's and a, Sam's going to hear it more, least, smell it more than least, us. At least it's not going to be on his hands all day. Well, go wash your hands. You Ugh. can use the women's restroom. I have chestnut soap in there. I brought oh, some yeah. fancy hey, Ryan. stuff. No, no, I'm going to do the old Ryan I, trick. Throw it on him. Yeah. It, it does Put look some like something I would eat. Put some lemon juice on that in olive oil and see if anybody wants to eat that. Oh, it looks like green. <laughs> it, it looks like it outright does. green. It does look like a plate of greens. I it was green. It is nasty, slimy, dead plants from the freeze. Those all those used to be luscious and yeah. some sort of pretty giant leaves Aww. I wanted to cut around down anyway, but now Woo. they're dead. All right, mystery box. Ahmad's next. Doesn't bit week. me, so Ahmad, you're you're gonna be kind of safe. Yeah, kind of safe. Ahmad's no, no. in the next mystery box next week on the Rule and Ryan show. Hey yo, time for KRBE's Rule and Ryan show to tell you what's going down. down, 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 down. down. All right, you definitely want to listen to KRBE all weekend because the KRBE. Crew Parade is going to be marching in Mardi Gras Galveston. That's happening February 10th, Saturday afternoon at 2.30. The entire Rule and Ryan show and the whole KRBE team is going to be in the parade. You might even get a chance to ride with us or watch from a balcony. Just listen all weekend for your chance to win. Get your advanced tickets by going to MardiGrasGalveston.com, and we will see you there. Mardi Gras Galveston runs two weekends, February 2nd through Fat Tuesday, February 13th. Now, coming up next, we're going to go around the table. Around the table. Okay, there is a return of something that's apocalyptic. Did y'all know that we had an apocalypse and you missed it? We're going to explain next on The Rule and Ryan Show.